Today I have the pleasure of speaking with John Contact from West Red Lake Gold. How are you today? I'm good, Tracy. How are you? Well, John, you're not only the CEO for West Red Lake Gold, but you're also a gold expert. So we're going to just start this interview with asking you about COVID-19 and the impact on investors' interest in gold. Can you talk to us about this? Well, I think it's positive uh, for the gold sector. Um, the, the main macroeconomic uh, uh, factors that create a positive gold environment negative real interest rates, increasing money supply, and increasing budget deficits and, and, and national debts, all of those have been accelerated uh, by the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Uh, the U.S. has increased its money supply by 20% uh, since the pandemic. The $2 trillion of stimulus packages that are unfunded and a reduction in the federal funds rate. And this is happening in Europe and Japan. So in general, I think it's positive for the uh, for the gold sector. Positive for the gold sector. How has it impacted West Red Lake Gold directly? Well, we uh, the province of Ontario has determined that mining can continue in Ontario. And of course, our projects in Red Lake, Ontario, a historic mining camp. And as we news released on March uh, May 19th, we we're going to be starting the drill program in June. So we intend to be taking advantage of the positive goal sentiment and be busy on our property in Red Lake, Ontario. West Red Lake Gold has been on our radar at Investor Intel now for at least two years. And part of the reason is because you are focused on the prolific Red Lake Gold District, which is, I think, I think I've got a quote here, host to some of the richest gold deposits in the world and has produced 30 million ounces of gold from high grade zones. All right. So can you give us kind of an update on your summer fall plans? Well, of course, and we do have a high grade uh, deposit, uh, an inferred resource of 7.57 grams per ton at the Rowan Mine deposit. It's 1.1 million ounces is all within 500 meters of surface. Where we've been busy in 2018 and 19, where we put 20 holes and announced that we're continuing to be busy is at the NT zone, which is only about 50 meters from the Rowan Mine deposit. And it looks like a similar type deposit. So that's what we're going to be developing over the next two, three years on the two, three kilometer strike length of the NT zone. Okay. That's exciting. That's exciting. Of course, your last drill results were quite good. Yeah, our, our headline intercept was 12 grams over 13 meters. It was in the 100 uh, meters of surface, so close to surface. We had 12 drill holes on that program uh, and 20 in the last two. The, the Most of the holes have ended in alteration. And so we're just going to go to depth below some of those holes uh, and drill deeper and then continue along the strike length to the north east of the, uh, on the NT zone. We've outlined four goal zones, so uh, it's very prospective, and we're looking to be busy there over the next couple of years, as I mentioned. Our audience is exceedingly knowledgeable on the gold exploration sector, and I think one of our audience members wrote us and asked us to ask you how you see the precious metal sector performing as, as an asset class over the remainder of 2020 and into 2021. Well, I think it will outperform. Uh, it, it, it is, in terms of its relationship to, for example, the S&P 500, its, uh, its relationship has such that it would have to advance greatly just to go back to level, so to speak. Uh, so th I think there are going to be capital flows into the gold sector for the macroeconomic reasons I spoke of that are with us with the COVID-19 virus, but are really with us as a macroeconomic reality, debt, money supply, historically low interest rates. As you can see, uh, the price of gold has already moved. It was 1350 this time last year. It's 1700 now. Uh, so it's already showing up in the price of gold. We think capital will continue to flow into the sector as the sector uh, outperforms. The, there's new highs being reached by the major gold producers and the major gold uh, indexes, the GDX and the D GDXJ. Uh, now the intermediate uh, producers are starting to make moves as well. And eventually it comes down to our junior exploration uh, companies like ourselves the good thing about that is that we provide the most leverage or the leverage the one can get from their investment in our side of the business, the junior exploration and development companies with experienced management teams like ourselves at Western Lake Gold Mines in, in a well-developed uh, uh, mining jurisdiction uh, and mining camp like Red Lake, Ontario. These, these assets, I think, are going to be outperforming over the next two or three years. 
Well, John, thank you so much for joining us today. And for those of you out there, we follow West Red Lake Gold daily on our gold uh, watch list on Investor Channel. Thank you. My pleasure, Tracy.